How to make a gauntlet armor tutorial version 2. This is made of 20 gauge stainless steel and 20 gauge brass accents. You can use any metal you like, aluminum, brass, steel, even paper or, or plastic, whatever you like. You can use this information to make your own design or if you really like this design and want to make this exact gauntlet you can go to YouTube and look under the video for the link to download the template. If you're on a site other than YouTube, just type in how to make a gauntlet version 2 and you'll find it. These are the tools I used, basically just hand tools you'd find in your garage. Nothing really fancy or special here. This is a little nail or something I found laying around. I use it as an anvil, which I will show you later. This is a masonry chisel. I'll also show you this later. And an anvil is handy, but not necessary. First trace out all your parts onto paper and then onto metal. I would suggest building the whole thing in paper first so you can make any changes necessary. Bigger snips make stainless steel cutting easier. Grind your parts to shape them, but always make sure to wear safety glasses. You can also use a file to make some of the shapes. Use your finger plates. This is a jig I made for the last gauntlet. This little uh, pipe here is about three quarters of an inch wide, and the corresponding pipe on the other side is about one inch wide. tape the parts in to hold them there and then you can crush it in a vise to make the bends. You can also use a pipe and just push the pieces but this is harder on your hands. Here I'm marking the parts to make the bends around the bigger pipe. Just a piece of copper pipe I had laying around. It's pretty easy to bend, just uh, push, make uniform parts. Here I have a notch cut into a piece of wood. This is your masonry chisel I mentioned earlier. It's not sharp, so it won't cut into the metal. It's just to make a ridge on the, on the center of the knuckle plate here. This is a ball-peen hammer I have in a vise and a nice flat hammer I'm hammering it with. I use this uh, for most of the building on, on this gauntlet. I tried to avoid using the anvil because most people don't have an anvil. Here I'm rolling the back edge of the knuckle plate to make the pieces look heavier and more expensive, like a, a, a nicer gauntlet like a piece of artwork instead of just a, a utilitarian piece of armor. I also rolled all the hand pieces too for a more uniform look. You don't have to hit it hard, just keep going and it kind of takes care of itself.
in high speed you can really see how easy it is to do. The parts have to fit together. Each part has to fit into the part next to it. So you have to make a few changes here and there to, to make the parts fit together. For the finger plates I used the end of a ball peen hammer and a pair of pliers to to fit them and it also applies to the bigger parts too. For the brass knuckles on top I used the same method I used before to curve the finger plates and then I used a, a hammer to dome the end Here I have a brass rod. I'm making rivets to rivet the brass accents onto the stainless steel. Just cut that off and it makes a rivet. Here I have a little aluminum spacer to put inside the knuckles so that it didn't uh, collapse when I used the, uh, the hammer to set the rivets. Here I'm using leather and some roofing nails to make the finger rivets. You have to embed these inside the glove in a few places. And then using that nail I mentioned earlier, just sort of hammer it down. And most of the finger plates don't have to be riveted into the glove, they just rivet to the strip of leather. Here's all the fingers done. Some of the rivets have to be loose so that the parts will move past each other, so be aware of that. Here I have a piece of pipe in the vise that I'm using to make the van brace or the arm guard of the gauntlet. Just bend and go slowly. You don't want to make any creases in it. So just go slow and, and, and make your curves. Here I'm hammering the ends just to make them a little neater. If you want to put on the accents, just cut them out with a rotary tool. And you can either leave them flat and put them against the the van brace like they are, or you can do like I did and make them a little bit more three-dimensional. If you use a rounded hammer and a flat surface, the metal will naturally curve out and make a sort of dish shape. Of course, now that it's curved, it's not going to fit against your van brace very well. So you have to hold it up against it and make a few changes and bend it by hand and uh, maybe some more hammer work to make it work right. Once it fits, just rivet it to the van brace. Here I'm making a buckle using the same method. You can see I just... Uh, curve the part to make it look a little bit more interesting. This was my first gauntlet I made in brass for my book trailer for my second book, Blood and Bronze. It was my first time working in metal and this gauntlet is my second time working in metal, so if you think you can't do it, you can. Just follow the instructions and have fun. Instructions and have